Hey, what's poppin'? This your boy, Jay the Comedian. How are y'all doing today? How am I doing? Oh, I feel spectacular. Glad you asked. The Jehovah Witnesses have been having a tough time due to the COVID-19 pandemic that's going around the world. They can't meet the King Mahals, they can't meet at the Assembly Hall. So they've had to become really creative in how they get baptized now. And that's what we gotta talk about today. Let go! Alright, before we get to it, this is an XJW video, and as with all XJW videos, hit the like button so the YouTube algorithm can show it to as many people as possible. And if you enjoy X Jehovah Witness comedy and other things X Jehovah Witness related, subscribe to my channel. So like I said, the Jehovah Witnesses have had to become very creative in the ways that they get baptized now. For instance, really? Rip. A barrel? We're getting baptized in barrels now? If I was Jehovah, I wouldn't even accept the barrel baptism. You know what I'm saying? The only time it makes sense for a human to be inside of a barrel is because they've been murdered and the killer's trying to get rid of the body. But seriously, they willfully get inside of this barrel thinking they're dedicating their life to Jehovah when really, they probably just dedicated their life to Donkey Kong. He's the only thing I could see that would accept a barrel baptism. And he probably poops in his hand and throws it at people. So I wouldn't really be proud about him accepting your baptism. <laughs> oh my god. Well, there goes your security deposit. Who's gonna mop this up? Even that baby is like, yo, this is stupid. But yes, people are finding any and all body of waters to dedicate themselves to God. I'm talking kiddie pools, lakes, jacuzzis, one of them Target clothes bins. This one looks like an above ground tomb. Pickup truck beds. That's right, pickup truck beds. It ain't even big enough to really fit nobody inside of. And you're supposed to be completely submerged to dedicate your life to Jehovah, right? Dude all up in there. Am I dedicated to God yet? No, you idiot, your cheekbones keep coming out. You're still worldly. First off, you couldn't find a bigger pickup truck than that? The only reason people should be in the back of a pickup truck is because they grew up on a farm and they're about to lose their virginity. Wait, is he holding a turtle? I know y'all ain't kicked this turtle out of his house so y'all could... And I gotta be honest with you, I have a real problem with somebody getting baptized in a bathtub. It just... To me, morally it seems wrong because you shouldn't dedicate your life to God in the same place you wash your butthole, okay? I mean, is that just me? That's the same reason I don't think people should get baptized in a jacuzzi. I bang people in jacuzzi. Just think about that. You're talking to your lover. Hey, you know, I once uh, dedicated my life to God in this jacuzzi. Five minutes later. <laughs> and then we have whatever baptism this is. <laughs> <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's something about getting baptized inside of a pit inside of the floor that's, that gives me hella Satan vibes. You know what I mean? I think she dedicated her life to Satan. <laughs> I mean, accidentally, of course, but still. Water pit in the floor just screams Satan vibes. You know what's gonna mean? Come on, y'all. I mean, you don't have to do all this to dedicate your life to Jehovah. If things are going so bad that you can't find a body of water, why can't you just go ahead and just pray to him like normal people? Dear God, <laughs> I dedicate my soul to you. Uh, this is God, right? This is Satan. What? Whoa, no, no. Anyway, that's all I got. It's your boy, Jada Comedian. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. Share it if you thought it was funny. And if you support the XJW calls, hit the like button. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Holla at your guala. Deuces. I have a real problem with somebody getting baptized in a bathtub. It just, to me, morally it seems wrong because you shouldn't dedicate your life to God in the same place you wash your butthole.